Golds? This is a wishing well. Look. Hey, you guys, look. look. It must be the old Moss Garden wishing well. You know, I always used to believe that when you threw your money in, it turned into your wish. You take no points. And I'll take two points. No, that's not fair. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. You what? can't do this. Why? Why? Because these are somebody else's wishes. They're somebody else's dreams. Yeah. But you know what? This one. This one right here. This was my dream, my wish. And it didn't come true. So I'm taking it back. I'm taking them all back. Now listening to In Town Beats. Okay, I've had a lot of things transpire, bro, in the last month. I can't front, man, and life's been amazing, man. And I just want to come on here and get that energy to y'all. That you know how we get down. So check this out. It gets a little deeper. Ejaculation of the male seed for purposes other than having children is wasteful. Loss of extremely precious treasure. The energy loss over a long period of time weakens the physical health of the male and can lead to unconscious emotional anger towards women. Right? You guys hear this? Let's, I'm going to read that one more time. You guys, I really want you to take this in because this pretty much correlates what you see happen today. We have all these movements out there. We have like the MGTOW movement. We have guys that just don't want to deal with women anymore, but yet they're still going home and watching to them. And they're developing this hate for the opposite sex. And when I told you guys how all of a sudden now my life's done changed and I start to see the beauty of women, I starting to see the beauty of life because if you are retaining your senior, okay, you are doing this journey correctly, your whole outlook will change on life indefinitely. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've gone through. I don't care what kind of problems you think you have. The only thing that you need to do, which is the solution and the remedy to your problem, is semen retention, okay? You must practice this as a male. It is the way to put you on the right path to better your life. This is what this journey is about. This is how you get that glow. This is how you get to that level. And by ejaculating, okay, for other purposes other than creating a child leads to self-detriment, all right? Yo, what up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's all my men doing this evening? I said, how's all my men doing this evening? It's your man here feeling good, bro. Feeling like so many stacks of a million, bro. The shave Lion King, bro. Listen, I'm just feeling so great, you guys. So much energy are flowing through me today, man, that I want to come on here, man, and give a little bit back to my brothers. I want you guys to understand, man, that I ain't never going to quit, bro. <laughs> you found one of the best leaders that you could possibly ever find, bro. One that swore his leadership, bro, to the universe right here on YouTube, right in front of you. Said that he wanted to be the best leader ever, bro. Said he wanted to take on all challenges to prove, man, that he could lead people by positive example. Tell me how many people you guys know that I've done something like that. Tell me how many people that you guys know that don't done something like that it's right here on youtube you can go watch the video yourself this is what i did man because i wanted to be the best that i could be for i could get to this level bro and show other people that they could be the best that they could be bro they could end up living a life man 
and being fulfilled and happy, bro, all while retaining the life force energy that they need, bro, all right, to ensure that their growth is intimate. Now, guys, I want to tell you guys something, man. I want to talk about something real, real cool right now, man. I want to talk about how semen is the seed of the universe, bro. Yo, semen, bro, is literally, bro, the seed of the universe, man. Yo, yo, semen is that special, bro. It creates life. Not only, imagine if somebody else were to come and steal your mojo, what they would be able to do with it. We've seen in examples in Austin Powers on how they can pull the, your mojo up out of you and use it for nefarious purposes, okay? So imagine how powerful your seed is. Your seed is amazing, bro. Okay. Let me tell you guys something. Your seed has so much power in it, bro. All right. And intensity, bro. It's an it's a super creative, bro, force that's within us, man. It's a spiritual force, bro, that is full of magnetism. You guys know what I'm talking about, man. Okay. We talk about our law of attraction, the LOA, all of the time. And you guys understand, man, that when you are retaining your seed, things just automatically start working out for you. All right. We know this is what happens. All right. The universe is now bending to your will and you are now walking with that torch, bro. I told you, you are the beacon of light. You got to understand the world is dark, bro. The world is dark, bro. There's no innocence left, man. Think about all the innocence, bro, that has been robbed from our world. Think about all the young are corrupted, bro. All the young know what S-E-X is. All the young know what booty is. All the young know what private parts do. There is no more innocence left on this planet, bro. Okay. And we got to remain strong and be the beacon of light, bro, to turn the tide, bro. We are the Autobots, man. We are being attacked by the Decepticons, okay? We are G.I. Joe, bro. Cobra is all over us, bro, okay? You guys got to understand, man. We got to continue to be X-Men. We got to continue to be Superman. We got to understand, bro on what kind of power our life force energy has, okay? We got to understand on how to direct this energy, bro, all right? And become our highest version, the Superman that I've been telling you guys that I feel that is resurrecting inside of me, okay? It is, it's what's happening, man. It's, it's evolving, bro. It's like a caterpillar that could only crawl onto the ground, bro, all right? Is now all of a sudden evolved, spreading its wing and is now taking flight and now taking over the world. This is what you have inside of you, man. And you got to understand what to do with it. You got to understand on what you're working with and stop letting society trick you into having no value. Okay. Because all society has done is taking this very special act that we have that harnesses so much energy, bro. All right. And then they've monetized it. They put a price on it, bro, on something that's priceless on, on a God power. Imagine that. Imagine that they sell you all sorts of gimmicks. They sell you cereals. They sell you cups. They sell you all kind of just ridiculous stuff that you buy. Right. And it all has a price. But you have this very special creative energy, this power, bro to bring life to this universe, okay? And they have now monetized it. They have thrown thrown a dollar sign at it. They have not got goddesses and got god and goddesses out here, bro. Okay. Come on. Themselves around. Come on. Temples around, bro. Polluting their temples, bro. Okay. And creating a bunch of lost souls here on this planet. And this is why it's important for us to continue to be that beacon of light. Because one day, I promise you this, one day that tide is going to turn, okay? And we're going to be at the forefront of change. 
We're going to be the forefathers. We're going to be people that other people talk about for years and years and years to come, bro. All right. Who in a time, bro, where everything around you in this world is being just destroyed. Okay. And it's just being unvalued, man. We're standing here. All right. Unwaved by all of the chaos around us, bro. Continue to stand strong, bro, no matter how the tides hit us. And is living by example and showing others what they can truly do with the cultivation of their sexual life force energy, even when you don't have anything. I told you guys, man, that I was homeless at one point, bro. I was sleeping in my car at one point, bro. And that whole time I was on seed retention. And let me tell you something. I never faltered, bro. I never gave in. It was always positive. It was always the next day gets better and got better and got better. And next thing you know, I started having all of these people and these new people hooking me up with new work and new jobs. And I'm all of a sudden, I'm making money now. Now, all of a sudden, I'm out here doing things and I'm back enjoying life again. Okay. It's all about remaining positive, bro, and using the energy that you have inside of you, man, okay, to motivate you, to guide you, bro, because it is literally that. This is why people are so attracted to us, man, okay? It's something that we cannot see, okay? We are we are not the people who are, are the observer, okay, of our light. All we know is how we feel inside. All we know is we are retaining this energy and we just feel like a million bucks. And for some reason, bro, other people are able to pick up this energy. Other people are able to see your light, man. All right. And this is what I want you guys to understand, man, on how powerful our seed is. Okay. We have the ability, bro, to take action action, bro. You got to understand something, man. This is one of the best things that has been happening to me, man. Okay. I've always been a person that takes action though. Okay. But this is just really put my take action sense, bro, at the very top of the peak, man. Okay. Cause now when I see something, I don't waste no time, bro. Okay. Especially if it's someone that I like. Okay. Especially if it's something that I want to do, especially if it's somewhere I want to go, especially if it's something that, you know, I just want to be a part of. I take action, bro, way harder. And I remember back in the day, bro, when I was one of those depleted coomers, bro, one of those fat boys, you know, I was just a person that didn't want to do much. I didn't have much ambition. I wasn't ready to go out here and conquer the world and meet new people. I wasn't ready to come online, bro, and give my energy to folks and tell people about my journey and be open about my life. All of these different things, man, came to me as a result of cultivating my sexual life force energy. It makes you a walking person of abundance. Wherever you go, I could take, I could be on the streets right now making this video, bro, and still be able to touch and reach all the people, bro, with true authenticity and, and a genuine feel, okay, of being able to resonate on what it is that I'm doing, all right? This is what I'm telling you. This is what this energy has done to me, you guys. It is one of the most amazing energies that I've ever, ever dealt with, okay? I want you guys to understand that, like I said, you're going to take action, bro, you're really going to take action, bro. And the craziest thing, bro, it's going to be way beyond anything that you could ever imagine. Okay. When I tell you you're on the you're you're on your way to be a CEO, you're on your way to being the boss of all bosses, you're on your way, bro, to having everything come to you when you want it. All right. Your ego's in check, everything's in control, you in perfect balance, bro. Therefore, the steady flow of abundance never stops coming to you because you're never faltering. You're at a perfect balance. I told you at the end of the day, everything on this world rolls about having a perfect balance. This is why you got to have a perfect balance between the masculine. You got to have a perfect balance between the feminine. This is why, why I told you guys to stop following these people, tell you to be all over masculine, okay, and not be balanced in your feminine, okay? These people are going to mislead you. Who are you going to listen to? You're going to listen to someone who's a depleted coomer, 
all right, that talks about the repetitive same things every day, or are you going to listen to someone who's actually climbing the mountain, okay, of unpo- uh, unlimited possibilities, okay, all while releasing every single thing down here? Because the only way you're going to get to a top of a mountain, let's keep it real, especially a mountain as high as this one that we want to climb, you're not going to be able to bring anything with you. I want you to let that sink in. Okay. So imagine all these other people around here, bro, who claim to be able to be able to do the things that you are able to do. And yet they're not, you know, equipped with the correct tools. Okay. They haven't walked this journey yet. They haven't learned all the knowledge and wisdom that it takes, bro, to be able to cure all this type of things that they need to make sure that their journey is going to go properly. Okay. This is what it does to you. It's in a super ability to take action, you guys. Okay. I want you to understand. And this is on a scientific tip, bro. Okay. You got to understand when this seed, bro, is now being regenerated, rejuvenated back to your body, ends up making its way up in your body. It has to travel somewhere. Okay. You got to understand how many seeds that you have floating around, fellas, how many that you make on the daily. Okay. This, these, these, these energies are going to have to go somewhere. These personalities are going to have to go somewhere. And what ends up happening is if you go on this journey long enough, that seed ends up making its way up your spine, bro. Okay. This is the facts. Okay. It makes its way up your spine, bro. And then it gets into your brain. And when it gets into your brain, guess what happens, you guys? You get new neural pathways, okay, and activation, bro, of 100% dormant brain cells. Now you guys see why so many people who go on this journey, so many people who go long-term all of a sudden turn to very smart, studious, okay, low-key genius people, okay? Because now what they've done, they have tapped into their intellectual, you know, attributes. I told you guys, we are literally gods. We can tap into any energy field that we want to, but so many of you guys don't understand that that lower red chakra is its own energy. And the only way you're going to be able to tap into these other energies is by raising your frequency. You have to get out of the lower energy. You have to leave the lust. You have to leave the envy. You have to leave the hate. You have to leave the jealousy. You got to leave releasing your life force energy for things other than, you know, creating your life. All right. Or, you know, some kind of rituals, you know, that you might do with your lover, whatever it is that you might do, you got to stop wasting. It's not meant to be used to the way that we're using it. And this is why I told you, most of the people out here, if they're not talking like me, they're not wielding their weapon correctly. You can go and meet anyone to their face, bro. As a retainer, you can go meet anyone to their face and you can tell exactly where they're at in their journey. Okay. Because when someone speaks to you, when a retainer speaks to you, bro, okay, they're going to come to you, all right, with a presence that you just feel automatically compelled to respect. It's just the way it is. It's one of those things that you cannot um, explain. It just happens, okay? And the reason this is happening is, like I said, is because you're tapping into these new faculties that normal human beings don't understand that they have and they don't know how to use. Therefore, you're able to manipulate things, okay, to your favor. And this is what happens all of the time, all right? But you guys got to understand that you all have this ability, but you've just forgotten how to use it, okay? You got to understand, transmute, bro, your sexual energy, bro. Transmute it, bro, okay? Because if you do, man, It's going to activate your entire brain. You guys have heard that from doctors, you've heard from so-called people who studied the body that we only use a certain percentage of the brain, okay? Because it's, it's, it's not activated. Now, ask yourself, our most high creator would have not created your brain that big to only for you to only be using a certain percentage of your brain. What that's telling you is that you've been stuck lower red chakra energy, (laughs) you've been stuck in the same vibration, the same energy, the same frequency for so long that you don't know how to activate these other parts of your brain. And this is why I told you this energy ends up traveling up your spine and getting into your brain. Okay. This is that energy. This is, this is that Christ-like energy. This actually represents, um, 
you know, Christ is risen. It's right, the 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 crystal's oil, the Christ oil is traveling up your spine, bro, and going into your brain and now enlightening you. Okay. Now you can see why these people who all do this end up talking the way that I do. They end up changing the way that I do. Okay. It is a superpower, but you have to learn how to cultivate the energy. Okay. Not spill the energy, not release your seed, bro. Transmit it uh, transmuted upwards, bro. So it will one day reach that brain. But you got to understand if those, if those semen, those specimens are alive, think about the journey that they must survive and get through. Okay. Through an unhealthy, very acidic body. Okay. That, that, uh, was pre, um, disposed, bro. Okay, to all of these things that could disrupt that very sacred ritual from happening. Okay, aka the drugs, the alcohol, the bad food. Okay, the the all the 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 nanoparticles, all the 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 um, metals in the water. Okay, all of these things hinder the ability for you to be able to hit that final level. Okay, so when I tell you guys. That there's a certain structure that you have to do to understand, to make sure that you're going to be able to hit this level if this is what you want to do. Some of you are so in your low vibrational energy. Think about this. Just listen to my words. Some of you in your so low, low vibrational energy that all you care about is getting one off, feeling that feeling, and not understanding that you could trade that feeling for a million bucks. What would you rather do? So many people out here complain about jobs. So many people complain about not being able to have the things that they want in their life. Okay. But they would rather have that feeling over trading that feeling in for a million bucks. Every single time, I guarantee you, every single time that you thought about doing that and you got a little sticky note out and you wrote on it every single time, $1. Okay. Okay. And you stuck it in a jar every single time you had that feeling. You'd be a millionaire just off of your actions alone, okay? But if you really decided to go further with it and you become someone who truly retains their seed, all right, and you go on this journey and you find the master and now you can create anything you want in this world with a world full of followers, why wouldn't you choose to go the route? Why wouldn't you choose to put in the time and the effort, bro, to graduate to that status, okay, while saying no to all these small little pleasures that are just momentarily going to be there. This is what I don't get for people, okay? And this is how you know people are stuck because it's actually a really simple decision if you really think about it. But so many people have so many other addictions, so many other vices, that they don't understand that that is hindering their decision, okay, to do the right thing. You guys, it's all about retaining our sexual life force energy as people. This is how we come back to Godhood. This is how we come. All those people that we watch movies about, all those people that they've told us about in books that are like fairy tales, those are all real people who all had sexual life force energy intact. They were using this energy for their higher purpose. These people weren't these type of people that were out here. I told you back in the days, 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 it wasn't going down like the things that we're having today. You didn't have access to all this. Most of the time, they didn't have access to women like that. Okay. So these people, all right, were used to to having life force energy inside them. Today, we look like modern day zombies, okay? So many people are in disarray out here. They're lost. They don't even know where to begin. They have so many addictions and so many habits, bro, all right? That you're just living a life of chaos where they end up on the streets, bro, and they end up turning into zombies and they end up, you know, getting on drugs, bro, until they wither away. When in fact, all these people would have to do Okay, is truly just go within, man. Immediately just stop all the momentary pleasures in your life. 
Therefore, your mind can actually think. Then you start thinking logically why you shouldn't do things and the consequences that you've already seen. You can actually hear yourself have those conversations. But when you're all garbage, when you're all filled up full of toxins, okay, you're no, there's no way you're going to be able to have this conversation with your higher self. And this is why all of these things that we talk about is so imperative. And I just want you guys to understand that you're going to have to keep remaining strong. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. You remain strong now in this society where you don't want to do things. Society is hard right now. Like I told you, it's a rat race out there, bro. Every day we're going to work. We're in the hamster wheel. People are getting irritated. Okay. We're in a giant fishbowl, bro. And it's getting more and more crowded every single day. Okay. So many people out here running around building a society for a small group of rich people. When, if we all started to, I'm seriously, go back to zero point and cultivating our sexual life force energy, bro, right? We would be able to see this way more clearly and be able to take action on the things that we need. But we're so docile from the foods, from the things that's in the water, okay? From being depleted sexually, okay? From just being turned out, bro. We're, we are turned out here in America, okay? We are turned out, bro. I want you guys to understand that we are turned out. There is no innocence anywhere. Every home has been invaded with some kind of innocence being stripped from all the youth. No matter what, I can go through any list you want to. All There is no innocence here. So these people that are growing up, bro, are going to grow up with all these traumas. Okay. And then they're going to end up falling into all the traps that we fall in. So it's, what you're going to see is a continuing um, degeneration of like all these people, you know, that are now the youth that are about to be, uh, you know, our future. This, this is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse until we start taking back our power as people. And we got to start saying no to all this shit. We don't even listen. I'm keeping it one buck with you right now. We don't even need all these damn TVs. We need to just throw start start a big old burning pile of TVs. We need to start a big old burning pile, okay, of just all this garbage that they have given us that is distracting us for all these years, that has taken away the ability that we have to put, you know, the time into our lives, bro, and live happy lives. But instead, like I told you, most of us have lived a life where we've been stuck in our lower red chakra because of the programming, okay? And we end up leaving this place, all right? And then we end up going up there and seeing that light and seeing our life all over again and end up right back down here going through the same bullshit all over again. And you never know the truth of what's going on. You guys, we have the truth. We have the key to stop everything that's, you know, causing damage in our society. We have it here. We know we got to start with our health. Okay. We know then after that, we got to start with our sexual life force energy. Okay. And once we start doing these things, man, what you start to see is a completely different person evolve. I told you guys. Okay. We go from that caterpillar that was stuck in those lower frequencies that can only experience certain emotions, certain different types of, you know, feelings, and now we have evolved into a butterfly where we're in a whole new world, okay? We're in a whole new world, all right? We have a whole new life. We can go wherever we want. We can create whatever we want, okay? This is the divide, all right? And this is what we got to remain focused on. So that's all I really wanted to tell you guys. I didn't really want to be in here too long. I just wanted to tell you guys that this is, this is it's the reason why, it's the reason why you guys that this is the biggest war that we have to deal with, okay? Because if we can just put a Band-Aid on these two things, all right, we'll have a completely different outcome in our lives, okay? We'll all go back to that time, all right? You guys know what I'm talking about. We'll all go back to that time we was in the second, first, and second grade when he was uncorrupted for the most part, okay? He was pure. He was happy. He wasn't thinking about nothing but just having fun, Okay, and 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 living a happy life. And this is what we need to get back to as people. Okay. Until then, we're just all gonna keep living into our ego, all right, trying to protect ourselves from the outside world. 
And what they don't understand is that ego is going to eventually destroy them. All right. This is why it's imperative to do what we do. So continue to conserve your seed, gentlemen. Continue to walk this journey. Continue to strive to be the best that you can be. Okay. And I promise you, I promise you, man, you're going to have the best outcome that you could ever imagine. I'm living proof of what's going on when you retain, bro. Okay. Your life becomes the truth. You become the narrator. Okay. You become the author of all books. All right. You become the creator. All right. And I want every man to experience this. So you guys have a great night, man. I'm about to dip up out of here. I'm going to read a couple of these comments and I'm going to go on. He said, no seed, no life. Tell him, bro. That's what it is. No seed, no life, bro. This is this is what it equates to. When your balls is empty, bro, you are now a loser. <laughs> Baba Stein, what's happening with you, bro? How you doing tonight, bro? Good to see you, man. Burner account in the building. How you doing, brother? He says, how does drinking lots of water affect semen retention? Eh, I don't know. I don't drink lots of water anymore. We made up blood, water, and seed. That's a fact. We are. Don Vaughn, what's happening with you, man? Good to see you in here tonight, brother. Tell him you're the best around. Nothing's going to ever keep us down. You're the best around. <laughs> that used to be my show, bro. The Karate Kid, man. I used to love that show, bro. Our chances of being born are one in four trillion. We beat the odds. Facts. And that means that we're here for a reason. That means we're here for a reason, bro. Okay. And that reason is obviously to figure out who you are and what your objective is supposed to be. All right. We're not supposed to be down here being clowns. We're not supposed to be down here being class clowns, okay? I swear people act like the game of life is like a high school popularity contest, okay? You want to be cool. You want to be in your groups. You only want to hang out with certain people. I swear this is the way people live life, and that's almost embarrassing, man, okay? Because if you know anything that was real, if you didn't do well in high school, most of the time you didn't do too great on the outside world. So obviously you want to do as well as you can, bro. All right. On this side of the spectrum in life, man. So you can, you know, be one of these people that succeed, be one of these people that become somebody. All right. You got to engrave that early. Don says, I was reading three train your old boys to... Oh man, that's whack. Really, bro? Yeah, I bet. I bet. I ain't going to doubt it, man. I bet something definitely has happened like that, man. Okay. We're not allowed to talk about it here on YouTube, though. It's kind of messed up. The minute we start talking about stuff like that, the minute we start getting our views not seen. So I hear what you're saying, though, bro. Don says, I look at seed retention as a prerequisite to me. A form of relapse is also turning into trash content because our subconscious mind is so powerful. Deposits wisely. Yeah, bro. That's the truth, man. You got to be very careful what you deposit into your bank, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. This is why you always need to be listening to positive stuff, man. This is why you got to stop listening to the garbage, bro. You guys, man, I told you a long time ago to start watching TV. How many people started doing that? Okay. And people will look at me, well, you watch TV? No, I don't watch TV. I, I watch a movie occasionally. Okay, I don't have cable. <laughs> I can't tell you who's won the last NBA title. I can't tell you nothing like that. I can't even tell you any players that are in the NFL. I stopped watching NFL when I got out of college. I stopped watching basketball when I got out of college. I stopped. I haven't watched TV in that long, bro. Okay, I've, I've been out of that spell. And I can tell you what it is that I see. So when I'm telling you guys you need to stop watching TV like 10, 20 years ago, and you should have done such, okay? TV has a, a way, bro, all right, uh, of, of, of brainwashing people, okay? Putting thoughts into people's heads that shouldn't be there, okay? There's a, there's a lot of research alone just on TV on how there's so many subliminals in TVs that your eyes can't even pick up in the frames, 
So just because people don't know that alone, man, it should make you wonder why you shouldn't be watching TV. And I challenge anybody to who thinks I'm sitting here making this up to go and do some research and see that I'm telling you the truth. Dylan says, I'm currently going through a rough time in my life being on day 31. SR helps me stay in focus through the storm. I hear you, bro. It does, man. But don't ever say you're going through a rough storm, man. Just say, man, you know, life is just happening right now. And I'm just riding the waves, bro. Okay. You never, you're not going through nothing rough, bro. Okay. What you're doing is you're you're leaving. It's basically like this. We're stuck in the I told you we're stuck in the middle of chaos. We're in ground zero. Okay. Now imagine ground zero is a big old body of water. Let's just say the Pacific Ocean. It's a big old body of water. All right. And you're in a nice sailboat. Okay. And the Pacific Ocean is just going crazy. Okay. The currents are all over the place. It's just huge waves everywhere. And it's just rocking your shit, bro. All you're doing right now, man, is leaving the territory, bro. Okay. You're, you're, you're evolving. You're rising out of it. Doesn't that make sense? If you were to evolve from H E double hockey stick as a metaphor, right? And it's hot there, right? And it's bubbling. And it's, you know, all those things that they told us. You would be rising out of that to cooler, you know, territory, right? You'd be rising out of that. So it's the same thing that you're doing right now. You're just, you're trans, bro. All you're doing is transitioning from, you know, the old life that you had to the new positive one. And the way that you have to do that is you have to go through the journey. That's what you're doing. You're a trail in the never ending story. It's the reason they told you that. This is a never-ending journey, bro. Okay, you're a trail. You've left that lower chakra energy. And now you're on your journey. And you're almost out of the jungle, bro. And as soon as you get out of the jungle, it's going to be smooth sailing from here on out until you decide to go back to your vomit. Okay, this is the way this thing works. So all I want you guys to do, man, Okay, is understand that there's been many people before us who are leaving us these messages. They're putting these messages in movies and TVs every day. You just got to have your eye open to see what they're trying to tell you. Okay, they're telling you that this is the journey of life. This is what we're supposed to be doing there. The Matrix is telling us how to get out of here and how to escape. But nobody is willing to do it. Like I said, nobody is willing. Okay to put in the effort, man, to really change their outcome. It takes a lot of willpower. It takes a lot of discipline. This is why people like us, like I said, this is why we will get the respect. No matter how much you try to hate, we're going to get the respect because it's just something that comes with it. And this is why I want you guys to retain your seed because it's a power that every man must learn okay, to use properly, okay, so he can be the best that he can be, so you guys have a good night, man, I'm gonna talk to you guys on the next one, I hope you guys be safe out there, have a good night, fellas, man, peace, will not fail, even if I must sacrifice my life.